Welcome everybody, thank you for joining us here on the Infinite Prosperity Podcast. My name is Louisa Havers and I help high achievers, entrepreneurs and coaches lift the lid on life and business so that they can live at their highest value. Each episode we will bring you our favourite founders, CEOs and guest experts to share with you their insights and strategies to expand your wealth consciousness, your spiritual leadership and aligned business strategies. We know that living in alignment with your soul's mission is what fulfills you, and we're here to show you how to achieve this in an energetically aligned way. If you haven't already, be sure to claim your free abundance activation in the Akashic Records. Go to louisahavers.com forward slash gift to unlock your abundance activation today. And if you'd like my support in having aligned success in life and business, then contact me at www.louisahavers.com and let's explore together if it's an aligned match. Get ready to live at your highest value and to expand into your next level of money as you elevate and receive more, you create more for others. Righty ho, let's dive into today's episode. Hello everybody and welcome back to the Infinite Prosperity Podcast. I'm so excited because I have the beautiful Ria here with me today, Ria Wang. And I'm just going to introduce you to Ria. I'm going to share her bio with you and then we'll we'll take it from there. So you can see why I'm so excited. So Ria helps people who are over 40 with their spiritual awareness that they can connect to their true unique power to transcend their limitations and to bring back confidence, passion and joy into their lives. And Ria has had an incredible healing journey where she's found the meaning of life lives through her purpose and passion and joy and is a transformational life coach today and leads her clients to help them to believe in themselves, to have confidence in their inner strength and to show up as better versions of themselves. And she's passionate about seeing her clients own breakthroughs. So a huge welcome, Ria. It's just wonderful to have you with us. Thank you. Thank you, Lucia. So uh, it's my honor to be here. So I'm so excited to be here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so excited to be here. Oh, to anything can help other people. Oh, I'm so excited for people to hear your story because I know that um, your journey blew me away when we had our first initial conversation and the you've had a phenomenal healing journey yourself and I think that'd be a great place to start do you want to share your personal story um your your healing journey to help people understand you know a little bit about what you the journey that you've been on personally yeah thank you um I think as a whole journey in my 40s years I have I was have the belief that is. I'm not good enough. So then the fear about the be abundant, be abandoned. So mm-hmm. that take me 40 years to go through complete to transform become today, then feel falling in love with myself. I was at age 50, I finally falling in love with myself. That feelings, I remember one of my clients was asking me, said, yeah, you always vibrate with this joy. So you always say falling in love with yourself. What does it mean? So I was tell her, I said, falling in love with myself is the day, every day you wake up in the morning, you are looking at the mirror. You are no longer to looking for somebody or something to fulfilling, to bring joy with you because you have all of that within you so that brings so much passion the purpose meaning in Mm. my life it's amazing Uh, yeah what a what a gift like you say it's taken a long time to get to that space where you're like actually I've got this feeling inside me I I am in love with myself Um, and to be able to to live and to create from from that space and I know that you mentioned that your, your journey started with a fear of of being abandoned um and the the journey that has been created created throughout your life um from your own personal experience how did you transform that fear of being abandoned and the the fear of self-doubt to where you are now to empowering you know yourself and others 
uh, and that is kind of like a long story, so we try to be <laughs> short. <laughs> I think many of us have that feeling like good, not good enough. They uh, have that something holding the back is don't know where to, uh, what exactly that come from. Mm -hmm. So I want to share my personal story where, where it's my come from. It's uh, just imagine like a 52 years ago in a small village in the mountain of the China. So a baby girl who just boring, but after boring next day, she was be sold. So that the baby girl is me. That uh, as I grew up feeling like, a, even that I talk about that, I still feel the emotional, you know, vibrator in my heart. <laughs> I know I go through all of that, that is already past story. Mm -hmm. But still, I want to share is this, us grew up because it was being abandoned. Mm -hmm. um, that I always feel is something wrong with me. That's why my parents don't want me. Uh, is that uh, sad? I think deeply in the roots. So anything I do, I become like a police in other people. Never know what where I am. You know. Then I will think about uh, maybe if I work hard, I build a business, I buy a house, I taking care of other people. So that I will be people will be think I'm smart, I uh, lovable. I will be feel be loved, but that really is not true. If I don't love myself, no matter how much I do, so that's always that you are not enough is still in behind there. So as I told you, shared with you is after I build a few business, bought a few houses, mm -hmm. I still doesn't feel the joint because of the overachiever. So overproof myself. I know you're laughing. We have so many women is the overachiever, right? You really are. It is that thing of whatever you do is not enough. Even if you've like your business success is phenomenal. And to be in that space of never feeling enough. And of course, you know, the like you were saying, the emotion when you think back to that little baby that, you know, how you were born into this world and then that incredible experience that you had from the, the trauma of being sold um you know a day old is and to know that in every cell of your body to be able to then start to go on that journey of really understanding where the root is and how you can then because it takes time doesn't it to do the healing to be able to go actually do you know what um, I can see how these patterns are playing out in my in my life in terms of like whatever I'm doing, I'm feeling like I, it's not it's not enough. And that is an exhausting place to be because it's that it's like a self-fulfilling prophecy and that you'll never be able to do enough because even if you've done, you're over delivering, you know, over giving. I think that's one of the other things that like you were saying overachievers feel like they're, they're, they're never enough and they can never um, do enough, but they're like to be over giving as well I'm sure our listeners will be raising their hands going yeah over giver here overachiever here <laughs> um and like you're saying it you you, you um you're never it's never going to be enough unless you do the inner work to to have that transformation which you've clearly clearly done Yes, absolutely. I think, uh, like I said, the overachiever, overdeliver, then put yourself, never think about yourself because that time I was want to use outside the source, like to prove I'm mm -hmm. love, lovable. Uh, so that cause traumatic stress, mm -hmm. that cause a lot of depression, you know, mm -hmm. so fun, continue the one day I was at the work, my whole body started shaking. I couldn't control, even cannot put a, a glass of water to myself. Then I called the 911. I had had, uh, had a panic attack. Oh, my word. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, that is when I was in the ER. So I 
here the, the nurse was asked me said Ria, uh, she said uh, man are you okay how are you just in that moment I tell you Lucia it's just uh, I have this voice inside me was yelling at me say Ria wake up mm-hmm. if think about it if you die today is that how you want to live your life is that is the meaning of your life at that moment, you know, and now I feel like goose in the yeah. <laughs> Me too. moment is at that moment, I have the voice that another voice said, no, I do not want to live my life like this anymore. I need to find the way to change. But how mm-hmm. at that moment, I don't know how yet. But the quick long story oh, wow. short, like I shared with you is after six months i sold my business sold my house sold everything i owned i went to this three two three years the unknown journey i said unknown journey because first time in the world you know i said in my life i started to look who i am what i want mm-hmm. what is the meaning to my life i started to to connect to I want to discover my spirituality. I want to dispar- to connect my soul. So that is the journey I take, like I, I shared is go through three months in Tibet, chanting meditation in the 13,000 high elevation, the monastery, you know, with the monk, then go through oh, the wow. area was doing silent meditation and uh, sitting in front of the pyramids for two weeks meditating. So all of the journey really was, connected yeah. with my soul. Uh, what a, um, that just sounds so sacred as you're sharing that in terms of being able to go to those places and to uh, have the, to be able to give yourself that gift to really say do you know what this is the priority I am going to create that connection with my soul and really find out who I who I am and what brings my soul joy and to really elevate um, yourself out of the the stress that your body was feeling that you know that's how you ended up in up in ER um what was the most, because um, I know there's just so much, like you're saying, it took <laughs> over a three-year journey. What would be the, I suppose, a key turning point for you on your journey out of all of the, you know, the moments in Tibet and being in front of the pyramids and the silent meditations? What was a, a turning point for you on that on that journey? I think as a turning point, really, turning is not when I was in the journey, because when I was in the journey, I didn't think about anything. I just totally in with mm. your every moment, doing all of the stuff on the journey. Uh, I have a lot of, you know, struggling with a lot of tears, mm. struggling with a lot of uh, complex is some sometimes still have fear I said wow I saw everything now I'm in the mountain meditating is that is really <laughs> light to me it's really is the sense voice me to do that you know so big, still big have all to the, do. yeah yeah all of the doubts all of the things I think but the really the turning point is that I want to share with you that even think about that I was so grateful is is after I come back home, you mm-hmm. know, I was want to try uh, continue traveling, discovering, I just love different cultures, different mm-hmm. country, you know, so then come back home in, because COVID, I couldn't go to any place anymore. Yeah, but in that when I was at home for a year, I started slow down, really look what is my journey, really is digesting all of my journeys. Then I have this aha moment because that is already vibrated in my heart. Mm-hmm. Like I, I shared earlier, I said, I already falling in love with me. I even don't know it until you know, the people was ask me as I said, why you are so vibrated with the energy 
that I was wow. That is how it's transformed. That also gave me the、um, passion. I find finally connect with my soul. The journey that I was find this passion. I want to help other people. I want to help people who was going through some same thing. Not say exactly what I go through, but who have that still in there.、Uh, think about the, to prove themselves. Think about the over the deliver、uh, deliverers、uh, and the not good enough, self insecure.、Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So that give me the passion and the, to help people how to transform then. That include many skills in my past twenty years. I've been learning, like I help they wake up this unique space of power. We are each of us have the unique power inside with us. Everyone is unique, special. If you connect with that power. Ah、oh, yes. Yes, absolutely. I love it, and what I love about your journey as well, because you've, is the courage that you dug deep and found to be able to really honour where your soul was calling you in the sense of right. Let's reconnect with our your unique special power, and being so courageous to, like you were saying, to sell your successful businesses and to go right. Off we're going. We're, I'm I'm、uh, selling up and、um, going to go and focus on my on myself、um, for this moment in time, and to be able to then bring back all that wisdom and that the like you were saying the vibration of the love that you feel in your heart and being able to share that within your business. You know, I talk about prosperity a lot, and for me, it's not just around the The financial side of things, which, as we have a successful business, of course, then being able to use money as an ascension tool is so、um, important. But for me, the the love that you can share within your business is is really where people feel it in their heart.、Um, how you're showing up in in your business and how you you know with your with the work that you do and the transformational healing that you do with your clients, that ripple effect. Um, really, truly, is、um, creating prosperity around the world with with the love that people are then feeling for themselves. As you were talking, I was thinking about、um, there's so much that you've learned along your along the journey, and of course, the the breakthroughs that you now help your clients have. What would you say is the most important thing that you've learned through you know not only your breakthrough but the breakthrough that your clients have had? That you help them to have, you know, that is、uh, a most fulfilling moment for me is when I see my clients have the breakthrough. Then I、mm-hmm. see they was have an aha moment. My clients,、uh, some clients tell me, say, "Ria, you changed my life." I was always so proud to my clients. I said, "No, it's not. I changing your life. It's you did." All the work that you change in your own life, that、yeah. like we talk about、um, courage, that、mm-hmm. I want to、um, share with all of us. Courage also is the number one help you to step out to、uh, changing the first step to want to change your life. Because everything we always have million thoughts in our brain, you know, we want to do that, we want to do this, but without action, all of the thoughts is just the thoughts will be never move forward. So if、yeah. all of the if anything you do, even just step by step, small step, like、yeah. a, sometimes when you feel the anxiety, stress. Maybe just find a quiet place, even just five ten minutes. Then sit down, quiet with yourself. Don't judge yourself. Accept yourself. What it is. Then observe why it's so upset. What is cause? That awake the self regulation, awake the self awareness. Then you can have more clear vision how to 
it out, move forward in that situation. Yes, courage, courage and action is a beautiful combination to, to, to be able to, to, to move forward, of, of course. And it, it always um, starts with having, having courage, like you say. I love that wisdom that you shared around having a few moments to yourself, because I think so many people, like you're talking about the high achievers and the overachievers, often won't um, forget to build in moments in the day where you can just take a, a, a spiritual uh, a pause for yourself just to connect within and to uh, recenter yourself so you can have that courage to to take the to take the action if you I was just thinking if you could be remembered for one thing Ria what would you like it to be mm, one thing you mean what what is the one thing yeah the one thing that you'd love people to remember you for to know okay. you for Oh, thank you. Thank you, Lucia. Um, I think uh, one thing is uh, I want to say, uh, I want to say remember this word, be bold, be curiosity, be creativity, and uh, do not let anyone convincing yourself that you cannot achieve your dream. You mm. have a choice by your own you have the power that I want people to remember this watch is not about remember me. So if they can remember this watch that can really every day vibrate in their heart, mm. that they can complete the shift, the life they want to live in. Yes, I love it. I love it. I love it. That's a uh, wise words. Thank you so much. I know that you've also got, um, we were talking about um, a, a freebie that you have for our, our, our listeners. How can um, people get your generous freebie that you, you have? What, what can they do? Thank you, darling. So, yes, I have a lot of free, uh, I'm not saying a lot of free, I <laughs> <laughs> have some freebies, uh, the worksheets, um, can help people at least get a start to ask the question of themselves. What mm. is the purpose of mm. your life? What is the meaning? What do you want to achieve? And what do you want to avoid? So start ask the question, practice with that free worksheet. That wow. is the first step to start. I love it. Thank you. And they can get hold of that. We'll put the links below the in the show notes um, directly from your from your website. And the, it's the power of asking the right questions. It just unlocks things for people. I I um I love I love questions. Questions are the answers. <laughs> so thank you. Thank you so much for that generous offer for the thank for the worksheet. You. How um Ria, how can people um you know stay in touch with you? How can they find you online? Thank you. I think uh, you can find me fun through my website. The website, I have a unique name I want to share with you. That help you, have everyone who's listening this, they can remember that. So my website name is Zen Quincy Art of Healing. When I say Zen Quincy, I, I hope you can feel that vibrate. So it's from the frequency. We talk about the energy, vibration, frequency, right? You take the FR out, put the Zen. It's Zen frequency. It's, oh. I want to bring more Zen frequency than in the healing that is art. So that's my website, Zen Quincy Art of Healing. So also you can also reach out to me from my email address that easy to remember is uh, uh, Ria Wang, my first name, last name, plus the Ria Wang 369 at gmail.com. That's beautiful. Thank you so much. And I know you've got your own podcast as well that people, how can people find your podcast too? Oh, yes. I'm so excited. My podcast where we have you uh, be <laughs> my guest on my podcast. So I'm excited to talk with you, interview with you also. Yeah, my podcast also is on the YouTube. If you're looking for the YouTube channel, mm -hmm. Zen Quincy Art of Healing, you can see uh, I have all of the podcasts is live on there. 
Also, on my uh, uh, YouTube, have a lot of uh, some uh, meditation I lead, uh, some sun healings there. Mm -hmm. If you like to there to listen, welcome. Subscribe my YouTube channel. Oh, I love it. I love sound healing. Thank you so much for sharing that. I love the name of your you. website as well, Zen Frequency. I think we can all do with some more Zen Quincy, um, of course. So thank you so much, Ria, for joining us and coming and sharing thank your you. incredible journey and how you've, um, you know, let go of doubt and really fallen in love with yourself and how you're then enabling um, others to, to find that within themselves as well. That's just a beautiful ripple effect around the world. I just absolutely love it. Thank you for being you and uh, for joining us today. Thank you. I'm so, so honored to be here to share this story with you, with Nadat. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you. And thank you to our listeners for joining us today as well. Looking forward to connecting with everybody again soon. And until next time, sending you all so much love. Namaste. Thanks for listening to the Infinite Prosperity podcast. And if you like what you've heard and want to know more, please go to louisahavers.com. We just appreciate you so much. So thank you for listening and hanging out with us. If there's anything that we can do for you, you can email us at louisa at louisahavers.com. Let my team know if you have any ideas for shows that you'd love to hear or topics you want me to talk about. Really looking forward to hearing from you. All right, that is it for this week, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us for today. Looking forward to connecting with you again. Until next time, namaste.